Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Big Jim with Big Jim Fishing. We're out on the lake today. Yes. There's somebody in a pontoon. But yeah, I thought uh, I had some a uh, couple of subscribers ask for some videos. So today's video is going to be about how to use your Phoenix live wells. Guys, if you already know how to use your live wells, no big deal. But I've had a lot of people ask for this video, so I'm going to make it today. But first, let's take care of some housekeeping. If you're in the market for some sunglasses, you can see it's bright out here today. Why don't you get on over to solarbat.com and check out these RB2s. Uh, they're one of the three pair that I have. They're a prescription. Uh, I have to have bifocals, so they're progressive no-line bifocals. But if you, if you need a prescription, make sure you use my discount code to save you 30%. That's Big Jim RX 30 Put that in, and it'll save you 30%. If you just want regular sunglasses, use Big Jim 20 and that'll save you 20%. Also, if you're in the market for a boat, you need to order yourself a Phoenix. Contact Eddie at Nashville Marine. He'll hook you up. And, yeah, let's get on with the video here. So we're out fishing. Got our, uh, our Phoenix live wells. They always sit right here. So you can see. And what's really cool about Phoenix live wells is that they're insulated. You know, that you got this insulation on the cover. They're also insulated around the outside. But what's very unique is that there's three pumps per side. Right here on the side is an air intake, which allows air to get pumped in when you're using your aerator. But yeah, okay, so let's get started. You got empty live wells, right? And you catch a fish and you come over to your control panel. And believe it or not, the line that says aerator, let me get this out of the way. You got pumps for port and starboard. And for those of you who do not have a Navy background, starboard is your right side and port is your left. So we need to fill it up, right? So let's go to manual. You got them turned right there. And you can see we are filling them up. Now down in the bottom is a plug. You can take that plug out when you want to drain them but when you're using them for fishing and you want to like run to spot to spot you need to have your plugs in or you'll lose your water see there we're filling it up Yeah, so while we're waiting for the live wells to fill up, take a look at this. Now those fill up your live wells. But if you want to get the recirculating pump going, turn them to manual. And you can see here, that causes that jet right there to shoot out. That's your recirculation. So not only am I feeling right now, I'm also recirculating. And when you recirculate, it draws air from your max air intake, which you have one on each side of the boat. You have this one for this side, and you got that one over there for this side. So we're pumping and we're, we're circulating at the same time. Also, while we're waiting for them to fill up, hey, if you guys are into forward-facing electronics, uh, forward-facing sonar and various electronics, I have a series on my YouTube channel called Dialed In. And on the Dialed In series, we go over 
Mega Live, the Mega Live Target Lock, Minn Kota, uh, the Minn Kota Ultrex Link with iPilot. We talk about how all this stuff talks to each other and how it'll also talk with your unit on your dash, the Hummingbird One Boat Network. Yeah, so check that out on my channel. It's a special playlist that when you get to my channel, if you scroll down, I also have other playlists, like I have one called Phoenix Boat Info and Informa I mean Information. And on there, if you're new to Phoenix, it'll show you how to navigate the website to build the boat you want. It also talks about the different models of Phoenix and also how to use the the program where you can choose your colors for your seats, your pinstripes and everything. So I got two videos, Phoenix Boats 101 and Phoenix Boats 102. I also have a video on there called Phoenix Boats Options. If you were gonna get a Phoenix, what options do I think that you should get? And I have that video. I also have a video if you're looking for a 19 foot model, whether that be a 819 Pro, a 919 Pro XP or a 19 PHX, the exact garage measurements with the motor tucked under you and the swing away tongue open. But yeah, let's check on our live wells. You can see our live wells are just about full. This right here is your overflow that will flow out. So we're just about full. So for sake of this video, I'm gonna turn them off right now. So to turn off pumping your water in, you do that right there. Now, if you want it to bring in fresh water every so often on a timer, turn it to auto. And after a specific amount of time, I'm not sure what it is, that it'll turn on and pump in fresh water. Okay, also when you're fishing, Turn your, if you want to save battery power, turn your recirculation to auto. And what that'll do, that'll cycle. You can see one of them turned off. The other one will probably turn off in a minute. But they're on a timer and they will cycle like every so many minutes it'll turn on and turn your water around. Uh, I apologize for the water color. This is Old Hickory Lake. We have stained water. But you can see that it kicked on right there. You can see the bubbles. Let's see if you can hear the air intake here. Yeah, that sucker's pulling in some air. So yeah, we're, uh, we're circling, recirculating right now. You can see that one just turned off on auto. So, and here's another cool thing. You know, we talked about each live well having three pumps. Well, we have one pump, two pump, three pump, four pump, five and six. So let me turn off the recirculation on both of my live wells. So I got everything off. I got water in the live wells, as you can see. So here, you can pump out whatever live well you want, your port side, your starboard side, or you can do both. So let's turn it to both. You can hear the pumps running. And you can see back here, both of my live wells are pumping out into the lake. Uh, back here on the back, you know, you got three holes. That other hole is your bilge pump, where both, not only your manual bilge pump, but your automatic bilge pump will pump out of that hole there on the left that's not being used right now. But those are both your live wells, and uh, we're pumping them out. You can see it's, it's pumped down a little bit. Now guys, I recommend every now and then you clean your live wells 
I have a separate video on doing that. Please check my channel. I put in a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and uh, I'll fill it up and swirl it around and pump it out. I do that occasionally. But once a year, I like to get in here with just a little bit of Dawn soap and fill it up and recirculate it. And then I get in here with a brush and scrub around and then fill them up and rinse them and fill them up and rinse them. I do it three times. And that'll be a good deal. But just for regular maintenance, you know, when you're at home and you got your plug in on your live well, just throw a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in each one. And then when you get to the lake, fill up your live well, recirculate it for a while, and then pump it out, and then you're good to go. That, that's just some quick maintenance that'll take care of some bacteria that might build up, uh, you know, during the time. Now, when you're cleaning out, you know, you'll see you get scales and stuff down in there. All those screens just pop out or screw out. And you can get down in there with a the sponge and clean all that out. But you can see the pumps are pumping out the live well. And y'all can see I'm on the water, so it's below the water line. Now, if I were to take that plug out, water would come in to the water line. I don't recommend you do that. Uh, I just leave mine in. Some people take them out on their way home, you know, and let gravity pull the rest of the water out. It's not a big deal for me. I just leave them in all the time. But yeah, our live wells are empty. So let's go over here and turn it off. I got a little shallow. I had to get up here on my trolling motor so I don't run aground here. Tear up my target lock. That's how you run your live wells. Pump them out. This is a quick video. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. It helps me out, believe it or not. Helps with the algorithm to get it out there to other guys that are into fishing and so forth. But hey guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.